guys good afternoon now oh, welcome back to our tutorial series guys so as you can see in my screen guys we will demonstrate now how we can eat a uh, data table in angular 15 <coughs> yeah so basically uh we already have an uh, endpoint to give us a list of data, something like this. And then we just apply or we just use the data table of Angular material. So this is data table of Angular, Angular material, guys. So it has a future value of feeding. So you can define here. Uh, this is the feeding. And also the filtering here, for example, like that. Or I filter. Uh, also PCM only like that and the sorting per column is already built in by the angular material guys so we just have to implement it in our own project all right so <clears throat> let's go uh, how we are going to implement this so first and foremost uh, this is the code guys so uh yeah in our in our material uh, this one so this is material that angular that io website so if you go to the components guys there's a table there and we click the table you have to import first this one import mat table material from angular in our app module that ts file so we go here app module that is file so I know this is not the app module that is so I already imported here the this one this is the one that is specified there mat table module and of course along the way you are going to install also the Pigeonator module if you use Pigeon uh, if you use sorting as well you have to uh, import also the mat source module uh, the math form field module you have to import that as well and if you have an input math input module and then after you have imported it in app module that is you have to declare this in the import here for example this one so basically this uh, i just following what is the what is being stated in the requirements so here so first and foremost after we install this or we import this in our uh, app module that is you go to example and here guys you can find uh what table that you are going to use so for me i'm looking for a table that had uh filtering feeding and sorting so i think we can find it here <coughs> all right so that's that's what i'm looking for where are you guys at uh, this one this data table with sorting pagination and filtering so as you can see here guys it's just like that all right so we have to click this code and this is the html you are just going to copy it in your html feeds all right but in my case i already copied it and i already customized it all right so i will put this table in my list component so in my list component here this was before i already have i just have table but now i'm going to use a, a material table so this is the one so it's just like you are copying that guys and you filter it out of what the column names that you're going to apply so this one mat form field this is mat input key of a mat form form field that's why in our up module that is you have to import also this math form field module and import it here or else it will not be available in your or in your html in the, in the where you are going to use it it will have an error okay so that's the purpose and then the math table that is the math table module data source this is the data source data source all right so we are calling mat sort so if you can find in in the documentation here so 
you just have to up uh, this is the html and you have to go to the type scripts command and those are the files that we need to import okay so import it there and this one this is just uh is data is uh static here but what my data is from my api service okay so the important one here you are just going to put in your TypeScript command is uh, this one and uh, this one is not the originator and uh, of course the data source you have to define so let us look at in my case so in my TypeScript here uh, yeah so uh, actually, this is my load request, so it's coming from our service. So you take a look on that. This is the service from our API, so it will return a list of requests. All right, so and then after we load it, so that is why we initialize that this data source would be equal to new multiple data source and the response that we get from our API. And then we set data sort that sort is cause this that sort, and also the pigeonator data source that pigeonator is cause this that pigeonator. Uh, all right, because we already have here, we already declare it here, right? So data source, this is our multiple data source of type. This is my uh, collection or something a uh, model, yeah, model. And then you have to include this view child uh, pigeonator that is in the that's already here so you are just going to follow in the documentation right uh, for example this one so you can just copy it and modify according to your needs all right so and the view match search is also the search <coughs> really, i'm not using this so i am just commenting because i'm figuring it out Sometimes I can get from the storage, but sometimes still not. So I still have blocking for the best solution for that. So right, we are talking about the table. So that is how we are going to load it from our API endpoint. So this is the load request. You are just going to define the source, which is the response. And of course, you have to also copy this apply filter. Filter, this is the filtering. So uh, it's just an event. So in your HTML here, if you can see in your HTML, we have this manual input key up apply filter dollar event. So that is why here in our component we have this method apply of event type, and then there's filter value, which is the target value that is the type you type in the input code. And then you have to set that data source that filter. This is filter value to trim the tall lower case. Okay. And then epigenitor, the epigenitor, then you have to go for the first page like that. So everything is taking care of the of, uh, Angular material, guys. So you just have to follow here. Although not all is required because this part, they are using static data, but in our case, we are using the data from our API service. And you can also have this HTML, right? Or you can add your HTML in your HTML file here. So for example, here in my HTML, I say SS, so I have added another CSS that's customized to my ones. All right, so there you go. And then the definition of the column, guys, so as you can see here, this is the display column, this type of string, and these are the fields that should match with the fields from your response or from your API or your model. Yeah, just you just you just initialize here, and these are the fields also that will be in your HTML feed. So for example, this one, this is the first row, math column definition request status it should be matched with what you define there and of course this is the value that will be displayed 
and this one is just the label request status this is the label and this one is the value that should be matched with what you're defining here and of course that is the uh model from your api web services all right guys so just basically very easy if you are going to follow uh, the, the documentation here and everything is taken care all right so for example we go to the this file again typescript so yeah i think that's it i think uh, so this one is that I, that I did not use it the, the most important is this one the display column and the definition of your data source so in our case we use our data source source as the uh, response of our API get request data all right so if we if we go to again to our HTML I already defined everything that I want there for example request number this is the label and we define here the uh, you can see here this uh, lit row so row a request number and something like that and then of course everything for example the date we formatted it in date format and yeah I think that this very very many or very easy to follow if you just read the documentation and this part this is where i put the router link that i can click the view and it will go to my request edit and the id so that is why if you can see here in my form here there's a view and i click a view you can see that it will have this link so this is request edit and uh, this is a go with ID. So you can't, it will have the data, right? So that's basically our table guys. So nothing to code for here for the one, you just have to click it. This one, not, nothing to code, it's by built in. So you can sort ascending or descending. And then here you can filter. Okay, so but I still have lots of wants to uh, modify or something uh, modification from this table because uh, my requirement should have to put a uh, search by and a drop down box something like that that they want so I think I can easily easily incorporate that from here so from from here in the loading of the data I will just pass the condition here I mean in a calling of our API. So I have to modify further for this. But in creating a data table, this is the way it's very easy. So in app your app module, you just have to import what is needed as in the documentation, as I should show you. These are the important that that you need. What table sort, mat sort, mat generator. And of course, the first one is material, table material. So the first that we are going to import. So in our app, yeah, uh, I think that's easy, guys. So I'm just showing it to you. So this one, this import, and put it in the import array, and then in our our table. You just define the HTML page following what's it being written in the documentation and replace with our column or models and our TypeScript. Here we define what columns that we are going to use. This one. And this should be in your row and your HTML. And the data source, we use math table data source of type or model. And then after that, in our initialization in it, we just set that the, the source should be called new math table source from our API request value, right? From our data. And then we pass also the data source that sort, the sort, and the source that regenerator that sorts, 
I like that. So if you can see on our, our API here, it's just basically reading. Uh, yeah, it's a simple reading, this one. Although I have to make it more complicated. So for example, this one, because there is a requirement that it will be for user or for if he is a prover, then all user, all requests of the user will be displayed. If not, this will be specific for the user. So I try to have this long link link to the screen. So this is dynamic. I can't. I still looking for how I can go. I think uh, I need to work with NTKF or Entity Framework. It's so easy. But if you're always defending our Entity Framework, the downside, guys, is you will forget your SQL scripting skills because it will do it for will do it for you. No, you, for example, you know, farm request doing like that, you will never, you can forget it because you will not be using it. So I don't want to forget it because that's uh, basically an uh, important skill as well in SQL scripting. So I will not depend almost solely on AIP core or entity framework. So that is why I'm trying to do like this. This is like link to the scale. So it's just like a SQL query. But I find this more disturbing because there are lots of typing here. So I, I'm, I'm planning to put this in a store procedure. So basically, if, even if you are using Entity Framework, or you can still call a uh, store procedure. All right. So I don't want to depend also on Entity Framework. Or I might forget my scripting and SQL skills. Yeah, because for now you are using Entity Framework for your project, but what if you change or you apply to another company and they are not using Entity Framework? Or, so basically, you will be your skill in SQL scripting will be left behind. So you have to rumble it. Uh, you have to uh, even if it will be doable with if core, but still you can still make it in SQL querying format. So your expertise in writing plain SQL state, state statement will still be enhanced or will not be forgotten. All right, guys. So I think that's for now for our video. This is just a short video. And actually, uh, it's really easy to implement. All right. So Angular material has a lot of things that we can offer for our UI. For example, the date picker, I have not implemented it. And there's a divider, expands and panel. So everything is here, how to complete. So we we just have to read the documentation and apply what is needed in our project. So here you go. Thank you guys. Thank you for watching and please subscribe and hit the bell button so you will be notified for our upcoming videos hearing and hope you learn and happy learning guys once again this is edwin deluso uh, let's learn together bye bye